Hey there, Hiller here from Old World Home. Welcome back to my channel. I don't share a lot of grocery hauls with you guys, but I did just place a large order because I am currently 39 weeks pregnant and this is kind of like my stock up, get prepared for that postpartum period after the baby is home and I need to get quick meals on the table. We are currently a family of five, about to become a family of six. So I thought I would share with you what I ordered. I do order our groceries through Instacart. We get them delivered from Aldi. I absolutely love this service. It's fantastic. I've been doing it for well over two years and it is just, a lifesaver when you're a busy mom. So I thought I'd show you what we got to take us through the next two weeks. So like I said, we are currently a family of five. I have three older kids that are home for the summer and then we will be welcoming the baby. So to keep things really easy for the kids, the things I like to have on hand is tons of fruit, tons of snackable vegetables, which I'll get to, um, dairy, like yogurt and cheese, and try to keep snacks to a minimum, just like the packaged stuff. So things I like to have on hand, I like having whole containers of yogurt, I like getting the organic one from Aldi, and things like little cheeses and little, you know, cheese sticks. Sometimes I'll get these yogurts that are the Icelandic style because they're really high in protein. And I actually like these for me, but also for the kids as well. Like I said, lots of cheese. We like to shred it ourselves. Sour cream, um, butter. We do a lot of homemade baking and things like that. So I always get two boxes of butter. And like I said, more cheese. These will be actually for, you know, sandwiches, grilled cheese, but also I want to prep some sandwiches to have on hand for after the baby arrives. Another thing we love to do are smoothies, and I do have an eight-year-old is my oldest, and she can make a smoothie no problem for herself or for, for her siblings. So I like having lots of frozen fruit on hand for that, and also bagged spinach, and I actually just go ahead and freeze that so that it is always fresh and ready to be thrown into a smoothie at any time. They don't care that it's something green because you don't even taste it when it's in with all the fruit and everything. Something else I've been getting for smoothies is oat milk. We don't have any dairy intolerance or anything in the family, but if they're gonna have, you know, like a good amount of milk in a product, I'd rather it be something like an oat milk or an almond milk or something like that. And then they do usually throw in some yogurt in the smoothie as well. Avocados are also something I love to have a ton of on hand because they can go with pretty much anything. I'll have eggs and avocado, we'll have avocado toast, we'll put avocado on sandwiches, we'll have it as guacamole with tacos or quesadillas. They just are so versatile. I usually get at least six at a time because they're a good price at Aldi and I'll just leave them out until they start to ripen a little bit pop them in the fridge and they can actually last a pretty long time if you put them in the fridge kind of at the right time. I've also heard people put them in the fridge when they're not, you know, ripe at all, when they're still hard and then pull them out and let them ripen on the counter. That's another way to do it. When it comes to dinners, I try to keep things pretty simple and do like a three step dinner. So I do some sort of a meat or protein, some sort of a carb or a potato or something like that, and then a vegetable. So whether that be a fresh vegetable, which when I do shop for two weeks at a time, I try to use the fresh ones in the beginning of the two weeks. And then I will also supplement with frozen vegetables, which are so great. You can pop them in the freezer. They're always ready when you need them. So I kind of use those towards the second half of the second week. And then potatoes, they last, you know, for weeks and weeks. Carrots last a long time. Celery can last you a good long while. So I always have those kind of staple vegetables on hand. And I know that I can quickly throw together a dinner as long as I have some sort of meat thawed. And then we can either make rice, a potato, pasta, something like that, pizza. You know, I just kind of have like my go-to meals in my head. I don't do a ton of meal planning. I used to do a lot more meal planning, but I've kind of gotten into a groove of, as long as I have the staples that I need in the home, I know I can throw together a meal in a relatively short time. 
Heavy cream is something else that I always love to have on hand. You can use that for mac and cheese or make any dish a little bit richer, a little bit creamier. Just throw a little bit of that in some butter. You're good to go. Mozzarella cheese, cream cheese for bagels and other things. And then frozen veggies like I talked about. We have peas and corn and I have other things in the freezer already. Pierogies are another quick dinner that we like to have on hand. Pop in the freezer and iced coffee of course a must um i got some ice pops for the kids just to you know it's summer it's something fun to have and like i said lots of produce we have peaches avocados carrots baby carrots pineapple um, some hummus to dip the carrots and other veggies in and then over here i have mangoes apples little snackable you know peppers and tomatoes over here i have lemons and limes which are so great in the summer and then some onion some lettuce two watermelons because it is summer and nothing screams summer like watermelon to me and we can go through one whole watermelon between you know me and the kids and my husband in about two days so this will last us just a couple you know like a week or so and there's the spinach that I like to throw in the freezer and we always get cilantro to freshen things up I got an eggplant which mostly is for me I love eggplant and if you roast it you can throw it into like anything and it's so delicious um, some bananas some sugar snap peas for snacking some green onion some cucumbers for snacking and dipping um, we love to get dates these are such a sweet natural sweetener that are basically like candy for kids and they're just really great if you stick an almond inside it tastes like an almond joy it's so delicious um, some baby spinach and arugula some more peppers lots and lots of produce that's kind of how we approach snacking in this house it's like Get a fruit or a vegetable, tide you over till the next meal. I got four half gallons of milk. We did already have two in the refrigerator, so I didn't need to get my, my usual go-to is six, so it's like three gallons, um, but we already had some on hand. We also got bread, and I already had bread on hand, so I only got one. Some granola, which is great to put in with, you know, the yogurt or you know, if we make like a parfait, you can put some granola with that. And then here's some sort of dry pantry staples. So peanut butter, cumin I stocked up on because we were all out. Got some crushed tomatoes for making pasta sauce or pizza sauce. Some black beans, which are always great, you know, easy protein to have on hand. Some bread and butter pickles because it is summer. So I like to put those on hot dogs or hamburgers. I did get a couple snacks. So these cheese penguins and some animal crackers but like I said trying to keep these kind of snacks to a minimum and let them snack more on something homemade or a fruit or vegetable or a dairy type of product I got these mini croissants like I said I'm gonna make little mini croissant egg sandwiches and get those in the freezer so they're ready to go for easy breakfast or lunch and then some ramen which is again kind of a junk food but something easy that my kids can make or I use the noodles actually to make homemade ramen and it's really good when you make your own broth especially um, a little bit of cereal and some chips just kind of some junk food just fun stuff that we don't get all the time and then some pasta some tortillas and taco shells we like making quesadillas or just regular tacos yeast to make pizza dough or homemade bread or things like that and then coffee did i say that sugar and flour and usually i am more stocked up on flour but i only got one this time because we're gonna actually try a different flour so i just got the one and then some more bread products some cinnamon raisin bread these brioche buns we really like for burgers or just for sandwiches in general and then some bagels we got blueberry and plain again quick breakfast or lunch are you sensing a theme it's got to be quick and if my kids can do it themselves that's a bonus um, I got these little mini cokes because sometimes you just need a coke in the summer and so I thought the minis were cute for you know me or my husband when he's home when the baby's born or if anyone comes over and would like a drink I also got some uh, grapefruit seltzers we really like this one and then as far as meats <laughs> I stocked up on a bunch of like cured meats so some ham and kielbasa, hot dogs, salami, bacon, a little bit of ground 
Italian sausage, a big thing of chicken, and then a whole organic chicken. I think I have one in the freezer already, so I only got one, but they're a really great price at Aldi. And I think that is pretty much everything that I got. I Like I said, we do have some things in the freezer here in the kitchen. We also have a deep freezer in our basement, so we have some extra meat on hand, extra bread products, and a couple other things. I've prepped a few meals. I've prepped some muffins that I mentioned in a previous video, so I feel like we're pretty good on the food front. We also do get beef from a separate location, so that is why you didn't see any beef products here. I also realized I didn't show any eggs, and that's because we have already three dozen in the garage refrigerator that we sort of over-purchased. So that is definitely a go-to protein for, you know, me and the kids as well. Uh, yeah, I think we're pretty well stocked for the next two weeks. Probably within that time, baby will arrive, but you really never know with these things. So thank you so much for watching. I'll be talking to you soon.